And that game against City is dead and buried. I hope. I don't want to think about it anymore. And we focus on the Europa League on Thursday. A game where Eric Ten Hag will make changes, but no doubt he won't make as many changes as he did in that first game against Real Sociedad, where we lost. Wholesale changes, massively different performance. I imagine there'll be some that come in and out. What I'm going to do in this video is run through my starting 11 prediction for the game. And the changes that I think Eric Ten Hag will make ahead of the game at the weekend, because we play Everton only three days later, away at Goodison Park. It's tough. It's October. Games are coming thick and fast. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But United, there's no messing around in this group anymore. Because we messed around in the first game. Made, what, eight, nine changes, lost to Real Sociedad. Now we're second in the group and we are chasing their tail. But Ammonia, I've been saying, I've definitely been saying their name wrong the, the entire time, haven't I? Ammonia? Omania? Omania. I'm going to go, go for Omania. See if that's correct. Playing them away from home on Thursday. And United will no doubt be absolute favourites. So this team here was the team that started for Manchester United away at City at the weekend. Uh, one player who absolutely will not be playing, and we know that because of an injury, is Varane. Varane has got a sprained ankle. It's not expected that he's going to be kept out for too long, which is a good thing because uh, that Varane and Martinez partnership, if we're looking at pillars that we've been building this good form on in the Premier League, those two together have been a significant part of it. Who's going to come in for him? I think it's pretty obvious. I think you know who exactly who it is as well. And it'll be interesting actually to see what Lindelof does starting on the right-hand side of defence. I believe he started on the left because that's where Maguire used to play. But Maguire, as far as we still know, is... Well, he, was, he came back from an international break with a bit of a hamstring injury. And in my opinion, I've always sort of maintained I think Lindelof can be a decent defender for Eric Ten Hag in this system. He's somebody who can play with the ball at his feet. He's somebody who's confident in possession. And I look, I don't really know what's going on with Dubravka right now. I don't know whether he's injured or anything like that. But De Gea has been playing in the Europa League too. I don't see any particular reason why that's going to change. But I think Lindov's going to come in. I'll be interested to see what happens. Because we may well see this against Everton on uh, Sunday. But I would probably guess that we would. I don't think we'll be seeing Varane coming back that quickly from a sprained ankle. It can keep you out for a couple of weeks. If it's tender ligaments, I imagine he won't be in that game. So Lindelof brushed the dust off, man. He did it. Well, he didn't really brush the dust off against City. It was the best situation. All the best game to do it in. But Lindelof should come in there. Now, I think there's an interesting conversation to be had about both fullbacks, if I'm being completely honest. I think Lindelof, he comes in. Cool, that one's done. I also think Luke Shaw comes in. Luke Shaw has really been sort of pushed to the sidelines by Tyrell Malassia this season. Deservedly so. I think Tyrell's been really impressive, but I think Luke Shaw will come back in here because I think Eric Ten Hag wants to... I don't think. I know full well that Eric Ten Hag will want to keep this squad. He needs this squad to be better than it was against Real Sociedad. And this is the month for it. Games every three days. Omania on, on Thursday. Everton on Sunday. Midweek game again against Omania. And then I think we play is it Newcastle. And then I think we play a few days later Spurs. And a few days later we play Chelsea. It's just, you need your squad at these times. And I think Luke Shaw comes in. But I tell you what. I am so confused of what's going on with uh, Aaron Wan-Bissaka. He's a ghost at Manchester United, isn't he? Really is a ghost. I never really felt that his start of play was one that was going to suit Eric Ten Hag's football because he's not that progressive fullback at all. But one position I've been worried about all year and continue to be worried about, what happens when Delo gets injured? Who plays there? Honestly, I've got absolutely no idea. Maybe you'll see Lindelof pushed out onto... I think we've seen that before, haven't we? Lindelof pushed out to right back instead of wan -Bissaka. Maybe we'll see wan -Bissaka come in. But I've got no reason to believe that we will. So I'm going to go with that as a back five of De Gea. Martinez and Lindelof, that's, we need to see this working, man. We can't lose that solidity in defence. That's been a bit of a cornerstone as to why and how we've improved in the Premier League, apart from that City game. But that's what I'm going to go for in the back five. And I think there will be quite, ho quite wholesale changes in midfield as well. Now is the time we can do this. And we need to do this. And maybe this should have happened slightly earlier, but given his form, I'm not surprised that Eric Ten Hag kept Scott Matomane in. I imagine he'll be looking back at that City game and going, you know what? Maybe it could have been a game where I brought Eriksen off and I, and I gave more bodies inside that midfield and Casemiro would have been that body that sort of didn't really leave 
that position in front of his back four to defend them. That's where we got caught out so many times on the counter. Just by some of the team pressing, by some of the team not pressing. Casemiro, I've, I still have zero doubts about whether I'm going to think he's a good signing by the end of the season. I think I'm definitely going to think he's a good signing. Casemiro is that defensive midfielder who is a proper... He also can play with the ball at his feet. It's not as if he's, uh, he's absolutely crap and has no passing range. You saw that assist he got for uh, Brazil during the international break. That's the, bar, that's the part of the pitch there. Not one circle. This is the part of the pitch that Casemiro absolutely loves. He won't really drift and drift and drift. I mean, if he does, he'll come back. He'll find himself back in that position. I think Casemiro definitely starts this game. I think his partner is an interesting one. Because it could well be a case where we finally see Ericsson get a bit of a rest. And we see the Casemiro and Fred partnership from Brazil inside that midfield. But it kind of strikes me that I think Eric Ten Hag would like to keep Ericsson in that team for ball retention, playmaking from deep, and Ericsson doing what Ericsson does. But I think the one guarantee we've got in midfield, I think that's going to be Casemiro starting, and he should be. He should now be in line to be starting against Omanir Om Om and Everton. I want, to see, I want to see him in that team for Everton. and He needs this game here to get those minutes under his belt. He does. It's been a slow integration. I don't personally see it as, a, as, a, as proof that Eric Ten Hag didn't want to sign Casemiro. It's just the fact that tomane has been banging form. And form and trust is something that Ten Hag clearly is a fundamental part of his management style. And now Casemiro's got his chance. Matomane's lost that edge of the form in the City game. Now I want to see Casemiro in that team and see how much better he can make us. I actually don't really know what's going to go on with Bruno or Ericsson. Strikes me that he'll probably keep them the same. Maybe you can see Bruno drop to the bench, Ericsson pushed up further, and Fred go in there. Maybe you see Fred come in there instead of Ericsson and Bruno keeping his position. There are options, but I imagine he's going to stick with that, those two there and play midfield three of Casemiro, Ericsson, and Bruno. And up front, I believe there will be changes too. I think we'll see Anthony keep his position on the right wing not just because not just because he scored an absolute cracking goal against um city but anthony in that game anthony needed to help delo more right is it sancho yeah it was sancho needed to help malicia more our, our, our attackers need to have more rounded games can't just isolate their fullbacks which is exactly what happened against city and it really it really kind of got punished but i think the main story is around this guy cristiano ronaldo I think Cristiano Ronaldo should be coming into this game and should be starting up front. Now, I don't... I think the real question is, uh, who does he come in for? Do we see Sancho keep his place on the left or we do, do we see Rashford? I imagine you'll probably see Sancho. Remember, Rashford wasn't, didn't even train all week last week. He was a little bit of a, an injury concern. He started that game, but he didn't look sharp. Maybe he wasn't 100% fit. Maybe he just said he was. You know, like certain players like Bruni used to do it as well. Just played no matter how injured he was or wasn't. Wouldn't really tell the manager. Ronaldo, these are the these are your chances, bro. That's just that's just the way it is at the moment. He won't be starting in the Premier League, I don't believe, anytime soon. Especially because this man has now just come back from injury and bagged two against um, City, coming off the bench. I imagine Martial will be getting some minutes against uh, Omania. I don't imagine he's going to be starting. I think Martial will probably come on around about the 50, 60th minute mark. And it depends whether it's for Ronaldo or whether it's for someone like Sancho. It could be either or. I don't think Ronaldo will last 90 minutes. And I think this is where Ten Hag gives him the start. But that would be my 11 to face Omanir. More than enough to beat Omanir. It absolutely should be on paper. But there's a couple of changes in there. Luke Shaw coming in. Lindelof's a bit of an enforced change. You keep you bring in Ronaldo in. You bring in Casemiro. It's that three or four changes a team which does need changing and refreshing after that City game and arguably it needed refreshing for that City. Maybe that's Captain Hindsight. I think that team is well I don't think that team is more I know that team is more than good enough. They should be able to go out there and do the job that they need to do on Thursday. That's what the Europa League group stages are about. Professional performances nothing too spectacular just get the job done like we did in Sheriff it wasn't, a, it wasn't the sexiest of games, but it was a 2-0 win. That's what it needed to be. All this needs to be is a comfortable, professional win. Goals for Ronaldo, that'll be nice. Casemiro getting 90 minutes under his belt. That's what we want. We want Sancho to refine a little bit of form. Rashford, maybe. Martial to come off the bench. That's what this game needs to be. Looking crazy and stupid, but we have to win because after that first game against Sociedad and that loss, we're chasing their tail now in the Europa League. And odds, on, they are, odds are they're going to beat Sheriff. 
going into that last game, it's going to be, well, straight head-to-head -head between us and Real Sociedad away from home for that top spot. And if we finish second, we're going to have to play a Europa League knockout game against a team that drops down from the Champions League. And the last thing that we need this season is extra fixtures like that. But that is my starting 11 prediction for the game. Back five of De Gea, Shaw, Delo, Lindelof and Martinez. Uh, midfield three of Casemiro, Eriksen and Bruno. And a front three, Sancho, Anthony and Ronaldo. Now you could see Ilanga come in there. You could see Martial. Who would you put in your team? You let me know in the comments below. But I think it's Casemiro and Ronaldo time. Let's see if Eric Ten Hag agrees.